Streaming from your mobile device just got a whole lot easier. Thanks to a brand new update from Streamlabs to their mobile app that allows you to have the best in-class features and customization to get you up and running quickly with your live mobile streams. And in this video right here, I'm gonna show you some of the brand new key features to help you have the best mobile stream possible. Let's go. What is up all you awesome streamers? Wild for Games here, making sure you become bigger and better this time with Streamlabs mobile app. Now, before we dive into the list really quick, let's just get it out of the way. Yeah, Streamlabs mobile app will work on iPhone devices and Android. So there you go, everyone can use it. Now let's dive into the key features list and how it will help you. For a more streamlined onboarding process, we will prompt you to pick the way you intend to stream when you first download and log into the mobile app. If you intend to live stream IRL, click stream your camera, click go live, and you're off. If you intend to live stream games or content from your phone, click stream your games and complete the steps to ensure your phone will capture your screen. In this update, we introduce simple mode, which is the easiest way to get up and running with your live stream within just seconds. This mode is meant for new streamers that want to start streaming quickly. It offers a pre-made alert box, chat box, and event list widgets that you can toggle on and off. If you're a streamer that wants a little more customization, guess what? We have advanced mode. Advanced mode is for the seasoned streamer that wants more customization and control of their stream. Advanced mode allows you to access the editor, add your custom widgets, images, labels, and much more. Also new to this release is the ability to use the app in portrait mode. Be sure to head to advanced mode to explore all of the ways you can customize your stream. In this update, we're also bringing the multi-stream feature to the mobile app. Prime users can simply toggle multi-stream when they go live and broadcast to Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube simultaneously. This gives you the ability to grow your audience and reach as many viewers as possible with the Streamlabs mobile app. If you've used Streamlabs mobile before, the first thing you're gonna notice in the update is the brand new user interface. Some settings have been consolidated to make it less confusing. The app now features light mode and prime mode and the editor has a new look to make it more straightforward to adjust and add your widgets. In the new update, you also get more control over your alerts. Perhaps you want an alert to trigger when somebody sends you a donation, but you don't want it to go off when somebody follows you. Very easily doable in the new update. Just head to settings to manually select your preferences. No need to go to the web dashboard anymore. Sometimes it can be confusing to see what the output of your stream looks like. If you're broadcasting in portrait mode, your stream's output will still be in 16 by nine aspect ratio required by all platforms. This means that you will end up with black bars on the left and right of your screen. To help users visualize this, we've added a button on the main screen in portrait mode. Click to help visualize what the actual output of your stream will look like. If you've already downloaded and played with the Streamlabs mobile app, you may have noticed a new icon for stream overlays. Keep an eye out for this, which means you're gonna wanna follow us on all of our social medias, our blogs, and our YouTube channel. So do me a favor and hit that big red subscribe button down below, because in the upcoming weeks, we're gonna bring out some more awesome information on the Streamlabs mobile app that you're just gonna love. Now, if you need more help using anything Streamlabs or Streamlabs mobile related, I'm gonna throw a couple of videos here up on screen. They're gonna help you be bigger and better with Streamlabs mobile. Until next time, my name is Wild for Games, and I will see you guys all later. Take care, and of course, peace.